Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Mustafa Mohamed Boche and today we are going to learn how we can write a simple function that can take in a date and some days or simply days to add to the current date or to the specified date. So for instance, this is mostly um, useful when for instance you are creating an application and maybe you want people to pay some subscription fee, okay? And based on uh, the kind of subscription they select, you know, you give them a certain expiration date, okay? So you want to be able to calculate that. So for instance, if they choose the 30 days premium, you add 30 days to the current date that, you know, they did a registration. So we are going to learn how we can create a simple function in JavaScript to help us do that, okay? So currently I have this HTML called date.html. It does not have any content in there. You just have this script tag. Okay. And I've also created this script called, for instance, um, date.js. So what we're actually going to do is we are going to create a function called, for instance, add days. Okay. And that is actually going to take in an object, which is also going to accept, for instance, date and then days the reason why we're accepting the date is for instance if you want to update the person's subscription you want to calculate the new date okay so we are writing one function that can handle two different things okay so let's first start off by saying for instance const and i'm going to define this as add days okay and this is actually going to take in an object so the object is going to be date and then days okay so first and foremost we know that um, there could be an instance for instance if the person is newly subscribing there's no way we are going to pass in you know the date we want it to do the calculation by itself okay so we are going to check if for instance the object has you know the property date and if it's undefined so if date fair enough we may execute something here else we want to define something new so we are going to say let for instance new date goes to new and then we get the date okay sorry we get the date now when we come down here what we're actually going to do is let's create a different variable okay we can actually use the new date but let's create a different variable called for instance let d i don't know let d goes to and then we're going to do new date dot set date okay we're actually going to get the new date now we get the uh, how do you call it the date and then we are going to add the days to it so for instance if today is for instance 29th of april 2022 we are actually grabbing today's date okay and then we want to add the number of days we want to add to it so maybe five days you know from now maybe seven days from now or let's say 30 days from now okay so that is what this is actually doing and then when we are done what we actually want to do is we want to return the new date so for instance return new date and i'll pass in the d as simple as this and then if we come in here and then for instance the date is valid what we're actually going to do is for instance let me declare variable called for instance new date again and i'm going to pass this to it so new date and i'm going to pass in the date to it and we're actually going to do exactly what we did below up here so there's actually no, no magic here except new date dot get date plus the days okay and then we'll return for instance new date sorry and then we'll pass in the d right over there so now when we come down here we can actually let me do two things we can actually call this function which is add days okay and then we can choose to just pass for instance the days so for instance this is going to go to 30 so 30 days from now okay 
and I'm actually going to call this function one more time and I'm actually going to pass in a date okay so for instance instead of today's date I'm actually going to pass in let's say February okay so 7th February so that's going to be 02 slash 07 that's 7th February 2022 okay so let's say 14 days from that date is going to be what okay 14 days from 7th February is going to be what and this is all that you need to do okay so this may actually go for instance this may actually go when um, there is new subscription slash registration okay so you can use this particular date like this this particular you can call this particular function like this when there is a new subscription or registration to your website okay and then for instance if you want to update the person's um, subscription so when you want when you want to update subscription slash registration date you can call it like this because you're actually this date is something that possibly you are going to get from the database okay so if they make new payments you just grab it and then you update okay if the person is not like um, doing it immediately okay what, what you can actually do is actually call this because someone can have a subscription to which you know um, their subscription may be dead for a long period of time so you don't want to call the old date and then use it so let's try this out okay let's save this and let's go back let me reload this so if i reload this whoa i'm getting an error somewhere so let me check okay i'm getting the error right over here yes and of course i'm going to get that error because i'm supposed to add this right over there so set date like that So now that we've saved this, let's reload and let's go back to our console. Oh, sorry, of course. So what this is actually doing is it's actually returning. It's not console login. So what I'm going to do here is, for instance, let me console log directly. Okay. So let me see. Just console log, and then let's pass the entire of this in there. And over here to let's console log. So console log um, the return statement from that particular function. So let's reload. And there you go. So you see um, today's date is what is 29. So 30 days from now is going to be 29th of May. Okay. And for the second one, which is this see what we did we actually passed 7th uh, how do you call it 7th february and 14 days from 7th february is actually the 21st of february so there you have it so there you go so this is the function that you need to write if you want to add you know days to date i hope you actually learn something in this particular tutorial and I hope you are going to implement it in any of your um, programming things that you may be doing. So I hope this is helpful. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.